Hello and welcome to CIS 4510. After planning, executing, controlling, testing, collecting data, analyzing the data, and presenting the data, the project should be finalized, closed, and delivered to customers or end users. This session will be addressing how to close a project successfully. To close a project, you need to make sure that the project goals have been achieved or reached at, and the client or the stakeholders, customers or end users uh, are uh, satisfied from the results. The project deliverables could be in a form of a final report, presentation, uh, physical uh, products such as software packages, hardware design uh, or update, network, uh, website, uh, database, um, you know, any uh, of these IT related uh, projects could be the deliverables. So either physical or, uh, you know, reports only just reports uh, for uh, the uh, stakeholders that will be uh, the end of the project. Part of the deliverables will be the installation. So if you are installing a software, uh, if you are training uh, the employees for that software, uh, that will be part of the uh, deliverables. Providing the proper documentation such as the user and technical manuals for such a software or uh, for the training itself. Um, included will be a sign off sheet uh, like a checklist that will uh, you know the client or the stakeholders will sign and approve uh, uh, what have been submitted. In addition, a post implementation audit or survey will be conducted to document best practices and lessons learned from the project. If everything went well, then you can celebrate uh, the success of your project and move on to the next one. Getting the client acceptance can be done in many ways and that depends on the uh, project initial uh, agreement and the organization's culture. But in general, we can say that uh, acceptance could be uh, informal or formal. Uh, in the informal, uh, there is no paper to sign. The ac uh, acceptance could be uh, by uh, date uh, um, past uh, that date. The client will have no uh, rights to reject the project or could be with a quick checklist uh, that does not require a sign off or could be by making the payment once the payment being made uh, to the uh, project uh, uh, team or to the company then um, that will be uh, a form of acceptance in the formal uh, there will be uh, an inspection with a detailed checklist followed by a formal sign off before the customer accepts the deliverables and could be like in a meeting or uh, in a formal reception where all that being signed off and the final pay will be paid for the project the deliverables will include delivering the physical product and or the required service uh, based on project agreement, uh, which is in most cases in IT projects, uh, include installing, configuring, and testing the product to make sure that it's, uh, it's working uh, as intended, then training companies' employees to use the new product, whether it's a software, hardware, or just a service. With delivering the product, a report will be provided that might include user manuals and technical manuals. What, why it's important to document project and um, um, there are many reasons uh, to address that or to consider for that. Um, we can mention um, the top five reasons for uh, those documentation. Um, First of all, these documentation can be used as a reference for future changes in del deliverables and for similar similar project uh, um, goals. It can be also used as historical record for estimating duration and cost on future projects, activities, and tasks. It can be used for uh, uh, training uh, material or to develop the training material for new project managers. It can be used as an input for further uh, training and development of project team. Uh, and it can be used as an input for performance evaluation by a function by the functional managers of the project team uh, members. 
This slide shows an example of some of the documents that should be submitted to the client uh, by the end of the uh, project. Some of these documents could be submitted during the execution of the project and some of them will be submitted at the end. Uh, for example, meetings, meeting minutes uh, could be submitted after every meeting and don't have to wait until the end while the final report should be submitted at the end of uh, the project life cycle. And some of them will be after that, which is like post implementation, the audit report that will be collecting the satisfaction of the client and the acceptance document will be at the end. In the post implementation audit or survey, the project team would like to capture the following. Was the project goal achieved? Does it uh, do what the project team said it will do? And does it do what the client said it will do or it would do? Uh, was the project work done on time, within budget, and according to specifications? Um, was the client satisfied with the uh, project results? Was business value res uh, uh, realized? Um, uh, was uh, or what lessons were learned about uh, your project management technology and what worked and what did not work. All these should be uh, documented and should be collected from the um, uh, not only the client but also all stakeholders. So you can uh, utilize the stakeholders management to use uh, such a tool and um, collect the information that you need, analyze it to improve or to add some improvement on uh, later uh, projects or other projects. The project final report will include the project summary and how the project was organized and managed. Uh, it will also include the techniques, tools, and methods used to get the required results. In addition, the project strengths and weaknesses will be documented followed by conclusion and team recommendations for future projects or for uh, feedback. By finalizing the document and delivering the product to the customer, the team would have completed the project requirements and ready to move for another project and another cycle. So basically you are saying um, you are successfully uh, finished the project, achieved the goal and um, uh, it will be the uh, moment to uh, uh, celebrate your success in this project. So that will be all for this session and for the semester. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or come to my office or uh, Skype or call and I will be more than glad to assist. Thank you and have a great day.